Okay, let me start on today's topic on skills and routing. So, till the point we seen about what is the flows and what is the flow shapes and how it has been, it has been used in the in your applications, right? Now we are particularly focusing for some uh, technical functionality. How we are going to utilize the skills and how we are going to route the work object to a particular user or particular work baskets. So we have been discuss something on Monday and yesterday like on assignments and swim lanes, right? So assignments and swim lanes are like our with, along with the routing part. So if you take mainly on assignments, assignments contain routing information. So you need to know where you are going to route exactly, whether to work baskets or work list or you are writing any custom activity. So it depends upon that you need to mention your router activity. Take an example, if you want to route to a particular user, then you can choose a user. If you want to send to a particular work party on the case, you have to select the particular out of box router activity. And where the skill comes? Take an example, your application, and the application contains only a few work baskets, and you are going to route your assignments to the particular work baskets, along with the skills, along with the skill information. And see, all the users have access to the work baskets, but even though they have access, they can't pull out until unless they have a skill presented or associated with their operator skill, operator ID. So there are two main concepts involved. One is like push and pull routing here. And then what are the default router activity we have out of the box functionality? And this also covers, I have updated the scenario document I have forwarded already. So we'll discuss about that what is the change and I'll walk through on how we can design that. So first, what is the skill? Actually, the skill rule doesn't contain much information. Skill rule contains only what is the skill range between one to 10, or you can choose one to three. It depends upon how your applications need. It's a simple skill rule, which will be present on your photo records, process and skill. So these are the existing skill rule available. If I want to create a new one, So that's all the skill tool contains. It contains only the name and what is the skill range between one to 10 or one to five, whatever you want, you can choose it. And there is one more way you can look out your skill rule is like process rules, work management and skills. This also lists the same way, what are the skill associated to your applications. So these are our predefined Pega shipment one, English, French, German. And now we created one educational. <clears throat> and where the skill got referred? We are talking about skill, right? So skill will be associated in two places, and only user can pull the record or push the record, right? The one which we talked earlier is like assignment. Assignment should contain skill. And next is like your operator ID because when we do get next work or get most urgent and functionality, it's going to pull record from assign underscore work basket class, that is PC underscore assign underscore work basket table, 
along with your skill table. Skill table is like another class, index hyphen operator skills. There is one more class associated with your skill root. How it's going to pull? It's going to pull the information from your operator ID record. See, as this operator ID skill is like a list, right? It's not a single property, correct? So because of this, it will be going on the index class. So let me open my operator ID page and it has a PY skills and it has nothing, right? So let me add. It doesn't have any order. You can keep it anywhere in your list. It doesn't mean that it will take education first. It takes from the group, not individually. It has like phases property. So you already uh, have some idea about why we go for index table because of page this property to expose, correct? So because of that, we refer, there is one more table called index hyphen operator skills. Okay. This, is, this is all about the skills. So. The skill will be present on your operator ID and also the skill will be present on your assignment for routing purposes. The next, your router activity, right? When you're mentioning your router activity, you have to mention the skill for the particular assignment before pushing to the table. There are two properties associated with the skill. One is PX skill desired and PX skill required. So this property will be present on your assignment page. It's not present on your work page. This property will be present on your assignment page. So when you are working for get invest work functionality, this property will be evaluated whether your operator ID skill matches with this property. Any questions till now? No cut. Okay. <coughs> so your router information, router activity, the reason router is like part of your assignment and it defines where the case should go, right? So previously we see only your work basket and work list and what is work, work list and work basket? These are like out of box router activity which presents inside the PRTC systems, right? And what is push and pull routing? We have been already discussed in uh, in the flow classes, right? During the flow session, anybody uh, remember on it? Yeah, cut. push means we are either sending the work object to the work basket or another operator and pull means we are getting it uh, from work basket through GMU or uh, pulling it from another operator. Push that you are going to find the exact person who have the particular skills to send the assignment to the particular operator work list. That is you are pushing some of assignment to a user who have the required skill to work on it. And pull is nothing but you already pushed some cases to your work baskets and then 
after some skill associated with the assignment. When you are clicking on get next work, you are going to pull the assignment from the assign underscore workplace class. Also, it checks what is the skill on the assignment and what is the skill present on the operator ID record. That is pull. Push is like you are pushing to your list of a person who have a required skill to work. Here I have mentioned like push soft assignment to a single user work list. Right? And pull is like a pull the information, that is pull the operator uh, assignment record from your work basket associated with your skill present in operator ID and skill present in your assignment page. So let me have some walkthrough and have some demo so you will easily understand how this works exactly. So this assignments routes routing information like it's assigned to current operator who create the case and now I'm going to change it this assignment I've created new assignment. This is my work group. This is okay. And in my work group, I have three users admin, manager, and user at end device, right? So these are the three users available in my work group. What I mentioned is like when the case comes from this assignment to this assignment, I have mentioned it has to go to work list. The activity which I am using is to skill group. I will tell you what exactly it means. For this, it refers yeah, activity there is parameter called what is the work group value we need to pass and I am passing also skill.
So this is my first step. And second, I want to see which user have the skill. So my manager doesn't have the skill. Admin doesn't have skill. And even user doesn't have skill. So what I do, I just add the skill to manage the record. I have one more operator ID present, so that's why it's routed to my ID. Let me create one more case. See to whom this has been assigned this case. Four twenty Thank <laughs> you. 
can wrongly point into the verb group. Okay. I have created an onboarding user and with the group of default XYZ. And I'm going to create one more for manager. With the same verb group, and I am adding Now I have configured my operator. One operator is without skill, and another operator is with skill. Now I am going to log in as onboarding user.
I'm creating onboarding case. This user got the review on us, right? Let me check where, where the case went, the vote 23. Assigned to my work group. Assigned to my work group manager. Let me check why it went there.
See, if you take the skill group, right, it serves to your operator network group that takes a required skill in your account. Okay. So what will happen when you are doing this, it checks your work group and checks what are in the work group and what are of the skill and then it serves to your particular operator. Okay. So I am trying to check. You are not able to see the remote tracer, okay, as if you are logging as a, what is called your tenant, you are not able to see your,
You see it, my assignment page, I have the skill required of education now. And it creates assignment page. It doesn't find my work group properly. Let me check. In the group. Okay, this sets my, you see, this one sets my work group, right? It takes a balance operator and then if it has a value, then it's passing to the particular user or else it's assigned to my manager of the work group. Thank you. 
I think I need to check on my configuration. Because always it goes to my manager. Let me run. If not working, then I'll get back to you. I'll tell you the rest of uh, outer activities.
I will check on this and I will get back to you and I will let you know that other what are that default activities Pega provides. So the initial this four option is like a default if you choose custom you want to mention where it want to go work master work list this external is for direct web access and kind is for external system and dependency if you want to write any dependency assignment for a work object that is case types to other case types then you can create this if I choose work list I will get list of work list related <coughs> work list related router activity work list okay so I have two work list two work party so I mentioned work party if you have any party names you can mention over here if I say owner and it goes to owner work list, if you click on check availability, okay. if you check on, if you click on check availability, what happens? It goes to, it goes to operator ID and work tab. You have an option of unavailable from one to in case if you mention this date, you should have a refer to whom it has to route. Substitute operator ID, whether you want to route to some operator. The operator you can define in the decision tree rule, or else if you mention work basket, you need to provide the same thing over in decision tree, or else you can say okay, assign to some default users. If I'm not available, who can work on my that is, if anybody pushing the case to my operator ID, it will automatically route to this default as any. That is what this check availability talks about. If you want to see more detail, see this all this work list and the router activity will be on type of route. You see over here the conditions. When I'm not check availability is true, what happens to the case is it checks for substitute and take the name and assign to this user. That is, take the name from this function. So it pass your operator ID and web page and this function returns the value which is available on your operator ID record. This is what to work party. If you say to work group, you can tell to which work group you want to map, which work group do you want to assign. So what happens if you say to work group, so it goes, it goes to this activity and checks who is a particular operator and then if there is no operator found and then it goes to manager of the particular work group. If you see here the step number three, it takes a manager name from the particular work group and assign to this user and then the property is set to assign to, current dot assign to. Let me use this function. Oh, 
Actually, I need to check on my configuration why it's not going out uh, because my work group manager is like again uh, XYZ. Right? This admin manager is again admin is at tiger.com. Because the same stuff which was in 6.2, it works properly when you choose to skill group and then you pass some skill, what is happening, it goes to your work group and find the people who are in the work group and checks who has the particular skill and assign the case to a particular user. When I say work group manager, it goes to work group manager. And that's the same, the skill group, right? I will check on, let you know, skill group and level group, those two stuff. So you are talking about skill, skill, right? Where the skill is getting added in your async page and how the is getting added, this is the activity, the add skill is the activity which runs and it sets the property, you see here. So PX skill required of the skill name which what you are passing, it goes inside. Skill name and the skill level which is all taking as a parameter from your this value, skill and skill level, takes the value and route it to the particular work list. You see here, on so the simple routing rule, skill root routing sample, it adds a skill and then it routes. I'll, I'll, see. I'll check on it on this, but what exactly happened to the case is
Back to you on the skill part. Okay. And So you have to create operator and to assign the operator to current operator. So these are all options we have already by default by the system. So if you are writing any new activity, see, take an example if you are writing your own custom activity, you have to use this custom and you have to mention whether it has to go to work list or work basket and give your router activity directly. And the router activity should set your parameter assigned to value, otherwise it not takes. Okay, so on the skill set and then on, I'll display on the uh, new assign page and I'll get back to you before this session ends. Okay, the one which I'm talking in my scenario, it, when the case is routing for approval on the personal education and immigration, the case should route the common work baskets. So I want the, all the free assignments have to go to the work basket along with the skills. The user will have access to that work basket and skill can pick and work. Okay, so right now what you do, you just move this to work basket and I'll, I'll show you how you want to pass the skill and how you can pull out. Okay. Just have hands on on the, the scenario part. I'll get back to you before the session completes. Thank you. 